Okay, so you know what I wanted to mention? Because I was thinking about this a lot, right? Yeah. And obviously the topic of how old these presidents are. So it looks like it's going to be a rematch. The return. I don't know, Nick. I, not that I think, because I've said it again. I don't know who likes Nikki Haley. Nick the Quick. Nick the Quick. <laughs> but she still remains. And I mean, she did not that New Hampshire is like a big. Uh, apparently the last two winners of New Hampshire were, uh, I think, Biden and Hillary Clinton. So it's a very like Democratic okay. leaning thing. But she didn't like get blown out there. And she's not conceding. Yeah, like she didn't concede, even though she lost New Hampshire. Okay, well, uh, to Trump, she's not conceding. Well, so she's saying, maybe. She's, yeah, okay. I, don't, I don't know. I know, I know she's still in Apparently it. Apparently, they're saying that Democrats, like everybody's, like, oh, she's actually like a secret Democrat. So Democrats who don't like the option of Trump or Biden will vote for her. And then, if you're a Democrat, you're like, okay, well, we get this chick who's like a fake. She does Republican. seem like she's pandering to all the weird ways. Yeah, it's like she's, she's sort of like pandering to like liberals in ways that they probably wouldn't care. A lot about. of race stuff. She's like, I was like a brown girl. Uh, yeah, I wasn't, she doesn't like, even a, look I wasn't like allowed to play in like the darts league. Yeah, she, but like they don't they're not gonna be on board with that stuff and then she sort of seems like she's sort of pandering to like the people who care about like fiscal responsibility and saying the debt's too big by being like we should raise retirement age for medicare but it's like those people hate you so you're yeah. not gonna get them it's like she kind of is like she's doing like this weird job of like trying to convince people that like hate her uh but if she yeah i, I think know. she's just trying to get the democrats who are like i don't really want to vote for biden he's too old i'll never vote for trump but that's a woman you're like that's something <clears throat> you're voting for a woman so i'm like it's not <laughs> it's not the best thing to vote you saying there's like a spillover of cnn ladies that might like CNN, her. yeah cnn ladies who go like you know what it's not great i i don't see myself as a republican but i can kind of hold my nose and at least elect the first woman president who's like kind of pretty down the middle anyways maybe that's I think that's what the explanation is. Okay, well, for, aside from that, I just want to give you some stats that I was thinking about. Okay. So Governor Joe Biden, uh, or sorry, uh Democratic uh governor defends Joe Biden running for president at eighty one by noting his own eighty eight year old mother still drives. Okay. And this guy was so why do we elect his eighty eight year old mother? <laughs> well, exactly, right? <laughs> but you saw this. So I just do the math, right? So Trump will be seventy eight and Biden will be eighty one, right? The life expectancy of an average American man is 76. Mm -hmm. So right now, they've 50% of people have died before they are, which yeah. is interesting. Yeah. Obviously, there is some factors. Uh, like And men die sooner than... This is a man, though, not people. I'm, I did. Yeah, these yeah. stats are all for men. So it's a bit higher for a uh, life expectancy for white because there's some racial components. Okay. Um, obviously, if you're a president, you're still using your brain. So there's some stuff... Uh, they're we they're wealthy. They're not fat. So yeah. there are things Does that it would factor raise them in a uh, weekly adrenochrome injections. They have adrenochrome, uh, but at the same time, you could also add in the president takes a big toll on people being the president, right? Yeah. And okay, so I, I, so that means obviously it's this is I'm using averages, but they're just uh, a person. Uh, so you would be individual, but I think you could say close enough. So Trump seventy eight, Biden eighty one. Life expectancy of average American man seventy six. So forty percent of men live past 81 so the age right now biden is so 21 percent of men live past 85 so the chance that a man would live to how old biden would be at the end of his term is uh 79 percent okay that or 21 percent chance of living, living 79 percent chance of death for your by, average by the man. end of his term okay 10 percent chance that both make it so if you do the if you do the math you go the fact that at the end of the next election both trump and biden at, in 2028 are alive yeah. is about 10 percent this is literally one of the, the the movie or whatever it's like look to your right look to your left one of these men will be dead in four years right <laughs> just by average yeah. man yeah yeah, all right. Ten percent chance Crazy. that both of them would be alive just on basic math, based on averages. Obviously, again, what I'm saying is like you once you're talking about an individual, not a person. But the app, the numbers are crazy when you start thinking about them, right? That seems, yeah, that seems we're get we're getting on. And uh, so I think it would be fair when you were saying, okay, so what would be too old for a president to run? Well, I think a fair judgment would be that if by the end of the term. He has a, a, a less than 70% chance of living to me that would be like low. So if you go 70% of men live past this age, okay, fine. If you're at 50% of men your age would be dead, that seems too high of a chance. I agree. That's how I see uh, it. Although I guess you're to a degree, even though you're not really. Well, they have a younger age. Why not have an older age? But, uh, no, but I'm saying I guess you're also the vice president. You know, at this point, you're like the vice president's a big factor because, you know. 
Well, I guess when you're voting for these people, you go, there's a real chance whoever the vice president is might be the president. Well, yeah. And my law that I'm saying makes sense is to avoid that. Yeah. It's like, that's crazy to be factoring in. Like, obviously, he's probably dying. So it's the other guys. It's like crazy. So what would you say, though? What would you say the uh, the age at uh, election day should be allowed? The high, high Well, I don't know the exact day. stat, but I, I just said 70, 70% is what I think. Yeah. 70% chance of living at his age. So, and you're like to assume that the person's, you know, they're obviously wealthy they're probably in good shape they're using their brain so at 70 percent chance they probably bump them up to 80 percent chance so now you're only looking at a one one in five percent chance of death from the president i think that's the highest that makes sense for me to go yeah but you're not factoring in that this guy's mom still drives at 88 <laughs> ryan <laughs> still drives <laughs> But for a also, heart. like, let me see your drive. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, she's like mowing down fucking <laughs> yeah. mailboxes on her rural road. It's a fucking Seinfeld joke. They just reach a certain age. They stop looking, man. <laughs> old people have a higher rate. I used to do a joke about it, but old people are more likely to kill people than drunk drivers. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I, I mean, holding and driving is more dangerous than drinking and driving. Every time you see uh, a car like crashed into a house. Or a business. You see Mr. Burns getting out of it. That is always an old person who accidentally hit the gas instead of the brake. <laughs> like, almost every time. Well, my grandmother, we had to pry those fucking... <laughs> they don't like to stop driving. No, of course not. Who would? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't I, I don't drive that much anyway. But I'm saying, it's not even the actual... You don't driving. like to have your autonomy, because you sort of... Yeah, you go, okay, I'm now, as quick as I'll ever Yeah, been. yeah, I'm as sharp as a whippersnap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I understand, but it's like... They have to do their driving test again. Yeah. No, I agree with you. I think this is the this is if this is ends up being Trump Biden, that'll be just crazy. Stupid. Yeah, but I guess we'll maybe get Trump. I'm I'm really interested to know who Trump's VP is going to be. You're interested, of, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people are actually there's a the rumor mill saying uh, Lee Zeldin. He should do it as sort of like a wrestling style where he, you know, uh, like fireworks go off and he makes yeah, the pick. Yeah. And oh, I thought you were gonna say like some sort of hell in a cell kind of thing where they all go they all like, a, like a royal it. rumble and last man standing. <laughs> 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 v- v- Vivek would do that move where he like pulls out salt out of his pocket. And goes <laughs> <laughs> He would have some. Dirty. Yeah, I salted him in the face. He, he would have like, some ah. dirty shit up his sleeve. <laughs> he reaches into his boot. <laughs> <laughs> he would for sure have some fucking <laughs> off kilter shit yeah. that he's on the market for. Yeah. <laughs>